This is Taurus, the concept that has evolved from the work of these teams of scientists and engineers. They believe the huge space colony could be built before the year 2000. Constructed almost entirely from ore mined on the moon, the Taurus colony would become home for 10,000 people. Ideas of creating colonies outside of planet Earth have been around for a long time. The problem of water, air and shelter looks already solved. In fact, nothing looks inviting out there. There is a private company, SpaceX, which is pursuing this idea in practical terms. Here, rockets are being assembled for the transport. The founder of SpaceX, Elon Musk, is not just a dreamer. He made his fortune with PayPal, he's building Tesla electric cars and is now constructing the largest factory for batteries on this planet. After setbacks, he's now successfully launching rockets. first time in the history of Earth, in four and a half billion years, the window of possibility has opened for us to extend life to another planet. Um, to the best of our knowledge, life uh, exists only on Earth. I mean, I, if, you know, there's a good argument that it exists elsewhere, but we've seen no sign of it. I think it's important for us to take advantage of that window while it is open and to, to establish life on another planet in the solar system, uh, just in case something goes wrong with with Earth, um, and uh, you know, it could be there could be either a natural or a man-made uh, disaster uh, that knocks the technology level below that which is possible, where it is possible to to travel to another planet. The key to establishing a self-sustaining modern civilization is getting the cost uh, per unit mass low enough that there's an intersection of sets the set of people that wish to move to Mars and the set of people that can afford to move to Mars, uh, inclusive of government aid. I mean, right now, we can't even get one person to Mars, so clearly... When I would come along. I wouldn't have a problem. One-way ticket... That sounds I'd, great. Um, I'd be your candidate. Okay. Um, the, I, I do think we'll, we'll want to uh, offer round trips because uh, a lot more people will be willing to go if they think that if they don't like it, they can come back. But how would we talk to them who chose to stay? Who would tell them the outcome of the World Series? Mars is actually a comparatively uh, easy internet th thing to establish, internet to, at least for local internet, because you wouldn't, have, you wouldn't be living everywhere on Mars. So you'd really just need maybe four satellites to have global coverage of to have global internet coverage because, because of how sparse the, the civilization would be on Mars. Um, and then uh, some relay satellites to get back to Earth. Um, particularly when, when Mars is on the other side of the sun, you'd need to sort of bounce it off a relay satellite. You couldn't communicate directly with it. I think that the biggest risk is not that the AI will develop a will of its own, but rather that it will follow the will of people that establish its utility function or its optimization function. And that optimization function, if it is uh, not well thought out, I mean, even if it's relatively, if its intent is benign, it could have quite bad, uh, quite a bad outcome. For example, um, if you were a hedge fund or a private equity fund, and you said, well, all I want my AI to do is maximize the value of my portfolio, then it, the AI could decide, well, the best way to do that is to uh, short consumer stocks, go long defense stocks, and start a war. Um, and that would also be quite bad. Such an attack would be much more prosaic than an invasion of these aliens in the SpaceX reception area. I'm sure I have good dreams sometimes, 
but I don't seem to remember the good dreams. Um, the ones that I remember are the nightmares.